Welcome back to Best Care Forum. Here because you are seeking for some information, new technology or new treatment. You know that your time is very valuable, very important for you and this is why you selected and you choose Best Care Forum to find your information which you are seeking for. And we are glad to see you again. Thank you my friend, thank you my colleagues for your support. Any big work starts with the first step and this step was taken from me a few months ago. Thank you very much. I am really very happy to be with you. The only thing I need is your support. Please you write your comment under the video. Please if you see something is not perfect, write your comment to me. Talk to me, call me if you know and if you if you want that the future generations they will get the best information for their medical health and medical treatments. The key element of the polycentric prosthetic knee joint 3R106 Pro is the servo pneumatic control unit. Pre-adjusted to normal walking speeds by the O&P professional, the powerful dual chamber pneumatic unit with progressive damping properties controls the heel rise depending on the walking speed. This leads to a harmonious gait pattern even at a more rapid pace. The 3R106 Pro is approved for Mobis 2 and 3 users with a maximum body weight of up to 125 kilograms. The alignment and adjustments are easily completed in the following steps. Bench alignment, static alignment, and dynamic trial fitting. Please refer to the displayed table for the correct bench alignment values. If you're looking at the frontal view of the knee, the alignment reference line runs through the middle of the prosthetic foot, middle to outer edge of the knee, and middle of the socket. The sagittal plane alignment should now be adjusted solely by changing plantar flexion, so that the load line runs about 35 millimeters in front of the anterior upper knee axis. The flexion and extension damping can be adjusted separately and individually. Before fitting the user, please check the factory settings. The flexion damping is set with the valve slightly closed, meaning that it is turned two times to the right from the left hand stop. The extension damping is set with the valve fully open, so that the prosthesis is always in full extension at heel strike. To get a first impression of the knee joint's swing phase control, have the patient walk in the parallel bars with the factory settings. The following video sequence will demonstrate how the knee joint reacts to the extreme setting of the swing phase damping. At this point, the flexion damping is shown at its minimum. At higher walking speeds, the user has to wait too long for the prosthesis to reach full extension at heel strike. At this point, the flexion damping is shown at its maximum. Please reduce the flexion damping a bit. The optimal setting of the damping is reached when the user doesn't have to wait for the prosthesis to reach full extension at heel strike, and the prosthesis doesn't reach its full extension too early. The knee flexion angle of the contralateral side provides a good orientation. It's important to always take small steps when adjusting away from the factory settings for minimum extension damping. As shown here, 
An extension damping set too high means that the knee joint no longer comes into full extension, which could lead to a fall. Reducing the extension damping setting ensures that the leg will reach full extension at heel strike. In any case, the user should not feel a hard extension stop. Thanks to its servo nomadic control, the 3R106 Pro supports a harmonious transition from one walking speed to another. This results in a physiological knee flexion angle during walking with higher walking speeds. Finally, double check all of the settings and adjust them if necessary. Now the knee is set optimally for the end user and further walking exercises can be completed. The integrated extension assist spring is part of the swing phase control mechanism and ensures extension of the prosthetic knee joint. If required, the installed strong compression spring can be replaced with the weak compression spring or omitted entirely. To prevent injuries due to falling, this is only permitted if the patient is able to bring the prosthetic knee joint to full extension prior to heel strike in all situations. suggestion if you have any question write your comment under the same video or contact us with double zero nine seven one five zero nine one one zero two one six my name is Esmail Nuri I will answer you 24 hours seven days a week or write an email to us with the same email you can see on the display right now thank you for your trust Thank you for using these educational videos to be able to provide better services to your community and to your patients. God bless you all, stay healthy and see you soon.